vestibular ocular reflex is concerned with what which part of the cerebellum it is the flocular nodular lobe which is important for the vestibular ocular reflex so if you look at the vestibular cerebellar pathway there are vestibular nuclei once more tell me doctor very happy to see 74 online students in the today's class so give me the word in the brain stem in the brain stem you have midbrain pons and medulla third fourth cranial nuclei are there in midbrain five six seven is in pons eight nine ten everything is there in the medulla this eighth is called vestibulo cochlear nucleus right so vestibulo cochlear nucleus now if you look at the cerebellum there is a cerebellum surrounding the brain stem there is a superior cerebellar peduncle that connects with the midbrain middle cerebellar peduncle with the pons inferior cerebellar peduncle with the medulla so the vestibular nuclei which is here from the ears inner ear it is receiving to the vestibular nerve all the signals so what this vestibular nucleus will do it will send all this information to the inferior cerebellar peduncle it will send it to the cerebellum now to receive that information coming from the vestibular nucleus because cerebellum is associated with balance vestibular what we listen our semicircular canals they are also associated with balance so two balancing controlling units right they need to communicate with each other how do they do that from the inner ear semicircular canal send information to the uh, vestibular nucleus vestibular nucleus sends information through inferior cerebellar peduncle to reach to the cerebellum so in the cerebellum which part of the cerebellum does it send to cerebellum also has got different uh, components floculo nodular lobe of the cerebellum is the one which receives that information is what you have to basically remember <coughs> So the vestibular nuclei, they send uh, the afferents, the afferents um, to the floculonodular nodular lobe via inferior cerebellar peduncle. In the floculonodular nodular lobe, the Purkinje cells are there. They send the efferents back to the vestibular nucleus, back to the vestibular nucleus, and the vestibular nucleus. Modulates the orientation of the eye, and uh, for that, the vestibular nucleus has got uh, connections with the sixth cranial nerve that is the uh, one which is controlling the um, uh, extraocular muscles. So, that is how what we are listening and semicircular information is told to the cerebellum. Cerebellum once more tells to the vestibular nucleus, and vestibular nucleus will. Have connections with the uh, sixth cranial nerve nucleus. This is a very important reflex called vestibulo ocular reflex mediated by vestibulo cerebellar pathway, is what you have to remember. So, here you have the vestibular nuclei. Once more, let us reinforce the concept. And uh, typically, the vestibular nuclei, what are they doing? The vestibular nuclei, they through the inferior cerebellar peduncle will update whatever the information that they are getting from the vestibular sensory receptors to the vestibular ganglion. Whatever the information that they are getting, they are sending it to the floccular nodular lobe. Once more, floccular nodular lobe, the cells, uh, the Purkinje cells process them and uh, they send back the information to the vestibular nucleus back. And this vestibular nucleus has a connection with the cranial nerve 3, 4 and 6 which are controlling the eye movements. And also vestibular nucleus will send the information to the spinal cord so that the body movements are controlled. 
and vestibular nucleus also sends uh, to the autonomic nervous system and uh, that is the reason few people who are uh, traveling in a fast moving vehicle they get a nausea and vomiting motion sickness why do they get it typically their uh, vestibular sensory receptors are telling to vestibular nuclei and vestibular nuclei telling to the that they are moving in the car to the flocular nodular lobe flocular nodular lobe once more telling it processing the information and telling it back to the vestibular nuclei vestibular nuclei have a relationship with the autonomic targets and that lead to development of the nausea which is the basis for the motion sickness is what you have to ultimately remember so let us look this from a different perspective <coughs> from a different perspective the feedback projections from the flocular nodular lobe and the fastigial nucleus it goes to the vestibular complex and uh, the cerebellum vestibular fibers even go while uh, from the cerebellum fibers are coming back to the vestibular nucleus in the medulla they form what is called as a juxta restiform body so how is juxta restiform body is formed basically so you have can you give me the board you have the inner ear you have the semicircular canals and they are sending the fibers to the vestibular nucleus from the vestibular nucleus to inferior cerebellar pedicle information is going to the uh, cerebellum and uh, from the cerebellum once more the fibers are coming out and uh, coming back to the vestibular nucleus and while they are coming back they form what is called as juxta restiform body is what you have to ultimately remember now doctor if you look at the vestibular nuclei what are all the places will they send their efferents they receive it from the fastigial nucleus in the cerebellum information vestibular nuclei in the medulla don't forget vestibular nucleus is eighth eighth nucleus is located in medulla so from the medulla they have a connection with the cranial nerves cranial nerves and they will pass a pathway called vestibulo spinal tract which is one of the extra pyramidal tract they pass the fibers to the spinal cord and also they pass the fibers to the thalamus thalamus is on the top and uh, uh, from the thalamus the fibers will go to the cerebral cortex that's how even the big boss is being informed by the vestibular nucleus uh, about all the information that it got from the vestibular nucleus and the cerebellum the vestibular nucleus will send the information to thalamus thalamus tells the big boss who is a motor cortex and sensory cortex is what you have to ultimately remember so these are the things doctor <clears throat> yes shivram modi is asking sir when we will discuss neet 2019 karenge see sometimes after exam is over doctor discussing the question paper immediately will bring make us feel sick oh, oh, i did this wrong i did that wrong i did this wrong do we need all that trauma not now maybe after one month when uh, we lick our wounds oh, oh, now we are free then that time we will review no hurry right if you have done the exam extremely good you don't need to go back and check the questions if you have done the exam extremely bad wait one more month we will aram se discuss karenge nahi to now you will be unnecessarily traumatizing your mind so just relax yourself let the results come results is uh, always a surprise it's a relative competition so meanwhile don't become completely out of touch of subjects every day evening participate uh, uh, in this wonderful evening and uh, be positive optimistic that the result is going to be good 
That is how you are going to win the exam. Now, Doc, these vestibular cerebellar fibers, how do they enter into the cerebellum? Through inferior cerebellar peduncle, and there is some just a restiform body when they are passing through the inferior cerebellar peduncle, and they ultimately, where do they terminate? That is the examiner's question. Flocular nodular lobe is what you have to ultimately remember. Once more, cerebellum may, how many parts are there in the cerebellum? Um, is a uh, very important question. Very good. Lahari, Lahari says, sir, absolutely right, sir. Abhi wo janjad kyo? Abhi wo dukh kyo? There is a song, no? Dukhi man mera. So, why to insult our own uh, mind by saying that uh, we did poorly in the exam? No problem. 650 topics agar aap revision kare to you medico aap ke upar and every day you are motivated to study nobody will stop you from getting the seat perseverance doctor everything is perseverance 10 times you fail also if you are constantly believing you are going to be the winner 11th time is there to win but do we have that courage to get multiple times slapped but still believe in ourselves and win get the victory that is the whole magic of winning any pursuit of life, right? So, you have an anterior cerebellar lobe. There is a posterior cerebellar lobe. Here you have a floccular nodular lobe. What are the three peduncles? You have a superior, middle and inferior. Inferior is the one which connects the cerebellum with the medulla. Middle is, middle cerebellar peduncle connects the pons with cerebellum and superior cerebellar peduncle connects midbrain with cerebellum that's what you need to remember so once more you can see there are fastigial nuclei and you have the vestibulo cerebellar and cerebello vestibular all these fibers pass through a bundle called juxta restiform body is what you need to remember and if you look at the fastigial nuclei among the various deep nuclei that are there in the cerebellum, they are the most medial part of the nuclei is what you need to remember. And uh, fastigial should be remembered because fastigial nuclei, floccular nodular lobe. These are the two words you have to remember because these are the two in the cerebellum which are directly connected with the vestibular nucleus in the medulla. That is the reason you need to remember. Whenever we say vestibular nucleus in medulla, what will you remember? Fastigial nucleus and floccular nodular lobe in the cerebellum is what you have to ultimately remember.